fine welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber and thank you so much for returning back here to watch my video for always supporting me god bless you but if you're new here please join the family by subscribing and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video <laughs> So friends, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very beautiful, interesting, inspiring love story that is going to leave you very happy <laughs> at the end because you're going to learn a lot of things from this story. You are going to be inspired. And for you ladies who are online dating apps, oh my God, this story is going to help you so much this story is about a lady called immaculate she is kenyan 25 years old immaculate's love story wasn't an easy one it was a very tough one because she suffered a lot she was heartbroken before she found love and that is why today i am here to share with you this story so that you can learn something out of it i know exist a lot of ladies who have suffered so much looking for love and still now they haven't found the one so maybe they're at the point of giving up saying that i am done let me be single or maybe let me look for a man and get pregnant have my baby that's all love doesn't work because the lady who shared with me this beautiful story had watched my previous stories and she was like bella i want to share with you my love story so that you can share it with your subscribers because i am sure they are going to learn a lot from my story it is going to change a lot of lives but not only that guys i'll be finishing up my makeup like always <laughs> so stick here till the end watch the video till the end do not skip and just enjoy chill with me <laughs> so friends before immaculate joined online dating apps Immaculate dated a guy from South Africa. And how did she meet this South African guy? One weekend, Immaculate was at the beach, chilling, enjoying her weekend, and came this handsome young man, talked to her, and he was like hi angel how are you doing you really look beautiful and then immaculate answered i am fine thank you then this south african guy his name is roy so we are going to be using roy <laughs> then roy started talking to immaculate asked her her phone numbers Immaculate was kind like, no, I cannot give you my phone number. I don't give phone numbers to strangers. You know, single ladies, <laughs> how we do sometimes. I remember when I was single, <laughs> it used to be very, very hard for me to give my phone numbers to a stranger. But Roy was a very talkative man. So Immaculate could not say no to give him her numbers <laughs> eventually she gave the numbers they continued talking making stories you know when you are next <laughs> to a man who talks a lot <laughs> he even told her that he is south african and he is in kenya for work on a work contract he was working with a telecom company something like that so they continued making stories enjoying the day at the beach then the day ended, Immaculate returned home. And that evening, guys, same evening, Roy started calling. <laughs> when Immaculate picked the call, then Roy was like, hey, it's me, we met at the beach. How are you? Did you arrive safe? How is everything? Then <laughs> Immaculate answered. And then Roy started asking Immaculate out that he wants to meet her the next 
day immaculate said no she told roy that you know what roy right now i am so busy like four weeks to come i'll be busy 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 full maybe after four weeks i can see you <laughs> and, but immaculate told me that she had to tell roy like this because she was playing hard to get <laughs> you know ladies the things we do <laughs> So she was playing hard to get but Immaculate told me she really wanted to meet Roy because she was single and Roy looked like a nice person very fun to be with so she wanted to meet Roy immediately she, but she told Roy I cannot accept your invitation because I am busy and Roy could not agree with her he continued insisting he insisted that I want to see you, I want to see you immediately, please. I want to get to know you, so please find time so that you can meet me, so that we can talk, because I have a very important thing to tell you and I can't wait. So after Roy insisting a lot, <laughs> Immaculate had to give up. <laughs> and accept Roy's invitation. <laughs> so guys, like I told you, Roy was on a work contract in Kenya. He was staying at the hotel and that telecom company was paying the hotel bills. So Roy invited Immaculate at his hotel. He paid for the taxi to go and pick Immaculate. And this really made Immaculate like excited to see Roy and, and in her mind, she was like, wow, Roy is such a gentleman, paying for the taxi so that I can go and meet him. That was a very, very smart move for Roy <laughs> to win Immaculate's heart. So Immaculate arrived at the hotel where Roy was staying and immediately they went to his hotel room when they arrived he offered some drinks to her and they started talking making stories like getting to know each other more <laughs> so roy wanted to know if immaculate was still single immaculate told him that yes i am single that is why i'm here <laughs> if i wasn't single i wouldn't have been here roy <laughs> So they talked and Roy told Immaculate that I am single for six months now, but I had a girlfriend back in South Africa, but we fought. And the reason why we fought is that my girlfriend did not like the whole idea of me coming and work here in Kenya because it is far and she doesn't like that. She wanted me to work in South Africa, but not outside South Africa but for me i don't see if there is sense in that because i need to work work is work and where i find work i go and work i don't want to choose working in south africa if the job is paying well i will go everywhere in order to work so my girlfriend not wanting me to work in south africa made us had a very huge fight where we stopped talking so since i have been here we haven't been talking we broke up on the phone so immaculate was like wow i'm so sorry for this but your girlfriend is really strange i agree with you work is work and important you get money important you work it doesn't matter because if you really love each other then love will always win so i don't see why your girlfriend should fight with you just because you're working far <laughs> so that was their conversation when they first met so you guys if you've been watching my videos especially for the makeup you know i'm obsessed with blue eyeshadow so today we are going to do the blue eyeshadow <laughs> but a simple one guys <laughs> not a very complicated one a simple one one so this is my palette as you can see it's not all that clean this is due to sophie <laughs> i'll show you what she does when i am filming <laughs> ah motherhood struggles <laughs> so after roy had told immaculate the whole story of breaking up with his girlfriend then he told immaculate that 
you know immaculate when i first saw you it was love at first sight i really fell in love with you and i don't want to waste more time i have to tell you that i am so 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 in love with you and i hope you give me the chance to be with you to show you how much i love you to show you real love and immaculate was like wow that's so fast how do you even love me before knowing me more but roy told her that it doesn't matter <laughs> whether i know you or i don't know you it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> but i love you i really really love you please give me the chance and immaculate was like i was a bit embarrassed and also in a confusion because it is the second time to see this guy and he's telling me he is in love with me <laughs> so immaculate told roy that please can you give me some time to think about it and then i'll give you an answer <laughs> <laughs> if it is a yes or a no but like i told you guys roy was such a guy who is so insisting <laughs> he does not agree to lose <laughs> not at all <laughs> he wanted things to go very very fast so he told immaculate that no you have to give me an answer now i want to know if it is a yes or no i won't let you go until you give me an answer today so it is up to you if you want to go or if you want to remain here in your hotel room with me tonight <laughs> so eventually guys immaculate said yes to roy <laughs> because she was single and she told me roy looked like a very loving man paying for her taxi for immaculate it was a very very good thing like like he treated her like a queen for that first day <laughs> that is what immaculate told me guys <laughs> it is up to you to write to me what do you think about this would you think this guy is treating you like a queen or it is just no more it is okay for a guy to pay for you go meet him for the first time so immaculate said yes and roy was very happy started hugging her and wanting to kiss her but immaculate told him that not yet man hold on <laughs> but guys we know roy already roy insisted to kiss immaculate <laughs> until he got the kiss remember guys they are in his hotel room so they kissed and after kissing roy asked immaculate if they can have dinner together in his hotel and immaculate said yes because she was feeling hungry so they ordered for dinner dinner came they ate and after eating and then roy started asking <laughs> roy started asking <laughs> he wants the goodies guys roy wants the goodies so when he asked for the goodies immaculate again said roy no i cannot give you the goodies today maybe next time it's so soon let us know each other more then i'll give you the goodies i really really don't understand roy roy insisted please please you have to give me the goodies today because it has been so long since i did it <laughs> I told you we broke up with my girlfriend for six months so, so I haven't had the goodies for that long and I really want it please don't leave me in this difficult situation please we are girlfriend and boyfriend right now and even if you give me today or the next day it doesn't change anything it is still the same you will give me so please please <laughs> oh my god this roy <laughs> so in the end guys do you know what happened <laughs> i know you know they did it she gave the goodies and the reason she gave the goodies guys they are in his room if you put yourself in such kind of a hard situation you are in a man's room what do you expect he's going to take the goodies he will take it 
so i advise you i'm starting to give you advice here never ever meet a man for the first time in his room don't do that mistake because you will be putting yourself in a trap because that is a trap guys it's a trap that you cannot get out of so in the end guys they did it and roy was so happy that he got the goodies <laughs> so after that after the goodies situation immaculate had to return home but they continued communicating with roy because roy was still in kenya and after one month roy had to return to south africa but before returning to south africa he promised immaculate that he's going to come back after three months and they will continue their relationship and he also promised her that he is going to marry her because he was really in love with immaculate immaculate was very happy that she has found a man and a man from south africa <laughs> mixing cultures yes you can be both africans but the cultures sometimes differ <laughs> so she was happy you know going to a new country because if you're dating someone who is from another country you start dreaming of going to another country <laughs> that is what always happens <laughs> that is what immaculate was thinking and she was very excited she even shared the news with her family about roy so they continued communicating when roy was in south africa they could talk every day every day guys morning afternoon evening <laughs> roy could call and if he misses her once then he could complain a lot that why didn't you pick the call i really miss you please please make sure you're always online when i call they kept on communicating every day guys like that and sometimes they could make video calls but also Immaculate shared with me this information that she used to do online sex with Roy. <laughs> yes, guys, and it is Roy who asked for it. So they used to do that, but when they couldn't do that, she used to send the photo of the goodies. Roy could ask that. So if they don't talk, so if they don't do online sex, she could send the photo of her goodies <laughs> oh my god guys this man can make us do things that are very strange imagine taking the photos of your goodies and send them to the guy <laughs> no no guys even if you give me money i cannot do that i'm sorry immaculate but oh <laughs> but here you really did a mistake i must tell you <laughs> it was a very big mistake you did so she could send the photos of the goodies they continued like that till one day immaculate called roy and roy picked he was drunk he told her that don't call me i'm with my wife <laughs> it was a very big shock for immaculate she was like oh maybe roy because he's drunk why did he say this and when she tried to call later roy was not reachable till the next day when she called roy roy was like you know i have to tell you the truth i am married <laughs> i am married i have a wife <laughs> everything that i told you was a lie but don't worry i still love you here in south africa we are allowed to marry two wives important that we make the wedding on a different date so i can still marry you do not worry immaculate got very very angry she was very disappointed she cried a lot guys and she told me the reason why she cried a lot is that she trusted so much in roy she could remember everything that they did together and she told herself that immaculate you are stupid 
to believe in this guy but Roy insisted that I'm going to marry you don't worry I'm going to come for you please please let us continue this relationship there is no problem when you come here in South Africa I'm going to buy for you a house you will stay in your own house and my wife will stay where she stays but Immaculate wasn't ready to be a second wife and she could not even trust Roy's word because if he lied to her at first how could she trust him again on this very very hard to trust also Immaculate told me due to the cases that she always sees about South Africa that is going on you guys know especially Africans you know most of the times happens chaos in South Africa so she was like what if I accept to get married to Roy and then his wife finds me and then take my life why should I risk my life that much so in the end she decided to give up on Roy and said no Roy let's stop this relationship and she ended the relationship guys but she was very very hard broken because when a relationship ends it means you have to start all over again it's so hard guys after two months of a breakup with roy she was on facebook and then passed this advertisement of afro introduction and when she clicked on it she started seeing the stories of the people who have succeeded found love online and she was like hmm I can try this out so immediately she joined afro introduction and started her online dating story <laughs> so immaculate told me after joining afro introduction that day she got a lot of messages from men wanting to know her more <laughs> and she was very excited about it started chatting with these men but after three weeks she got a message from a man which sounded very very interesting this man was from switzerland his name is tom and he was 31 years old so they chatted with tom for two months and a half after that they decided to start chatting using email so they could chat using email every day they never exchanged phone numbers but what they were chatting about was very interesting because tom told her that i'm really interested in you i want to get to know you more i really want to be with you and immaculate was like wow it might be true remember guys it was for the first time immaculate joining these dating sites so she did not have any experience <laughs> she had never watched bella's videos <laughs> so she had no idea <laughs> so she believed in tom and she was very excited because tom was a white man a very good, handsome young man with blue eyes and he was blonde so immaculate told me tom was really really cute very cute <laughs> they continued chatting every day emailing each other but they had never made even video call nothing only by email one day tom told immaculate that i am planning to come to Kenya but I'll first visit Tanzania then after I'll come to Kenya to meet you so Immaculate was really excited I was like oh my god so Tom is real I can't wait to meet him <laughs> so time went by and time for Tom to go to Kenya arrived so Tom went to Tanzania first like he said and after he went to Kenya and that day Immaculate was at the airport to pick Tom <laughs> with a poster on her hand written Tom <laughs> so when Tom arrived so immaculate with a poster told each other that that is what will make them know each other <laughs> so they hugged so much very tightly very tightly they are both very happy to meet each other after a lot of chats a lot of emails it was a very very wonderful day for them <laughs> so from the airport immaculate accompanied tom to his hotel and at the hotel they talked a lot hugged so much touched each other you know when you feel like there is chemistry that is what immaculate 
felt with Tom. Just look each other in the eyes and just smile. <laughs> that first few hours that they were together. <laughs> So guys, Immaculate was over the moon in love <laughs> with Tom. She was really happy that she has found the one. So while they were talking, Tom's parents called from Switzerland and Tom told Immaculate that please, can you go out so that I can talk with my parents in private. I need privacy. So Immaculate went out, but what she thought in her mind, maybe this is how Muzungu are, the white men. <laughs> they like privacy. So it did not sound anything fishy or that. So after Tom had talked to his parents, he called Immaculate in the room and they continued talking. He also asked Immaculate if she can stay with him in the hotel for that one week together because he had come to Kenya for her. So Immaculate accepted to stay with Tom in the hotel and that night guys, <laughs> oh, the goodies were taken. <laughs> they did it but Immaculate was very happy because it was the first time for her to sleep with a white man and because she was so in love with Tom, she told me I could touch his hair. Oh my God, his hair was so soft, smelling good. Immaculate told me it was a very, very magical moment for me with Tom. <laughs> and that week, they spent it very well. They went to tourist attractions in Kenya. And another thing guys, you need to know, Immaculate took Tom to her parents to introduce him. The parents were happy to see Tom and also Immaculate was very happy that Tom has seen the parents and has seen where she lives. And one week passed very fast guys and it was time for Tom to return to Switzerland but Tom promised Immaculate that don't worry, we'll keep on emailing each other and next time I am planning that after one month we meet either in Cairo, Egypt, or we meet in Dubai. But he was very sure of Cairo because he wanted to visit Cairo. So he told Immaculate, maybe I think we should meet in Cairo because I want to go and see the pyramids in Cairo, <laughs> Egypt. So Immaculate was very happy. She was like, yes, this is the one. That Roy was stupid to play games on me. I found a cute guy, a white guy, you know, with blue eyes. <laughs> so they emailed each other. After three weeks, Tom had left Kenya. And one time Immaculate sent an email to Tom, but Tom took so long to answer that email and afterwards he answered. Then she emailed again, but again Tom took so long to answer, which was very strange for Immaculate because they used to email each other every day and he could not take so long to answer her. And then happened a weekend from Friday till Monday without Tom answering Immaculate's emails. Then Immaculate started to get worried. She had to email Tom and tell Tom that Tom, I am really worried. What is happening? Why have you changed? Why is that you don't email me like we used to email each other? Then Tom was like, Immaculate, you are going to hate me so much, I know. But I have to tell you this, please, you have to understand me. <laughs> you need to understand me, please, Immaculate. I did not mean to hurt you, but last weekend, when I was not answering your emails, happened a party, and in this party came a girl that was my crush in high school. <laughs> So we danced and we kissed and from there I think we are a couple now. So I cannot continue a relationship with you Immaculate. I am really sorry. You are a very good woman. You have a kind heart but I cannot continue a relationship with you. Let it end here. Maybe we can be friends. 
and guys immaculate cried so bitterly because she could remember the story of roy and now the story of tom like her relationships wasn't going further same things men leaving her for other women it was a very painful moment for immaculate very very painful so immaculate waited five months till all the pain of tom was over and returned to afro introduction she did not delete her profile on afro so she continued chatting with men and she told herself no i'm not going to give up i'm going to continue chatting until i get my husband and one time guys she got a message from a guy from greece and this guy was really really serious with immaculate that after chatting for one month this guy was ready to invite immaculate to greece they started the paperwork immaculate could not believe that this is happening <laughs> so they went through all the paperwork the visa process and immaculate traveled to greece they met and everything went very very well her visa to stay in greece was two months so she stayed two months with this man in greece and afterwards she returned back to kenya they continued chatting talking every day and after three months guys this man also went to kenya they got married and came together in greece living in greece now very happily married so guys as usual i always ask advice from a person who gives a story so immaculate's advice number one is that never go to a man's room for the first time before knowing him get to know a guy before you make that step of going into his room advice number two from immaculate is that never introduce a guy that you don't know his real intention to your parents don't be in a rush to introduce him get to know him first get to know his real intention don't force him to go and see your parents it should be his will to go and see your parents because if you force him and then the relationship doesn't work then the whole shame the whole disappointment will be on you not on him like we have seen on immaculate she introduced tom to her parents and in the end tom wasn't real this tom i think had a wife in switzerland but he was lying to this girl advice number three from immaculate is that you need to know a man very well like very well in and out before you start believing in him a man who hides some information from you like he wants to talk he tells you to go out he hides his phone a man calls you and you see he is in a hide while talking to you oh there are some hours that you don't get this man on a phone don't go ahead and believe this man believe a man who is open to you who doesn't hide some of the things from you who doesn't tell you that these things are private you cannot know them that man is not interested in you a man who really really loves you he will want to gain trust from you by being open advice number four from immaculate is that never give up on love keep searching for love you will find it because if immaculate had given up then she wouldn't have been married now she wouldn't have been in greece now she believed in her dream of finding her husband and that is why she found him so you shouldn't give up keep on searching and you will find him my advice as bella as your sister as your friend is no matter what you do pray to god everything give it to god guys god is able he is going to listen to you he is going to guide you to the right person so guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something if you did please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too don't forget to comment below what you think 
I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Let us meet in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.